Hey guys, welcome back to Custom Builds. Today we will be guiding you how to RMA your Intel processor. You have to first uh, get to know whether your Intel processor is faulty or not. So I have got to know this processor is faulty. I have used two different motherboards, but two different motherboards also the processor was not working. So motherboard was not posting and we are not even getting any uh, post or blue screens. It's just no display. So the processor is not able to give any display and the motherboard got confused what we have installed in the motherboard. So this processor is uh, faulty. So we'll be applying RMA. We'll be doing RMA for this processor. Background of this processor. This processor is a 11th generation Core i5 11400F. It's not recommended to buy this processor, but still I'm telling you. This processor, um, uh, it was working for one year, just fine. After one year, it got uh, faulty and now it's offering no display. So now I'll uh, contact Intel support. Before watching the video, please like, share, subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff. Come, let's go to the video. I'm heading in the blue, safe between the clouds. So step number one, step number one was finding the processor was faulty. Step number two, you need to call the customer care. This is the number. So I'll be giving them a call. Welcome Intel customer support. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. A representative of Intel may contact you for feedback about the support provided. Participation is strictly voluntary. Please tell the customer support agent if you do not wish to participate in such service in the future or do not wish the call to be recorded. For product support, replacement or query on existing pieces, please press 1. For queries on channel membership program, please press 2. To repeat the menu, please press hash. So we'll be opting for product support. A few hours later. One eternity later. Let's see what uh, they'll tell. Please select option 1 for server or for enterprise memory and storage devices. Option 2 for Intel processors, NUC and compute sticks. Hello, thank you for calling Intel customer support. My name is Shagni. How can I help you today? Sir, uh, we bought a processor one year ago, which is Core i5 11400F. Okay. So that processor got faulty and uh, now because of that processor, the PC is not booting. Okay. So we have uh, uh, taken the processor out and we have put a different processor in that place. The PC is working uh -huh. properly. I want uh, your help in uh, getting replacement for this processor. Uh, did you try submitting it uh, directly to the service center, sir? Actually, uh, last time when I did the same, they told you have to log a call in uh, Intel service center, uh, Intel call customer support, then uh, the query is generated, the case ID is generated, then we will be able to get your replacement, is so, what so they so told. There are two methods, okay. Uh, first method, listen to me very carefully. Okay. okay. First method is that customer calls us, we create a case, we uh, uh, troubleshoot with the customer and then after troubleshooting, we, uh, if the issue is not resolved, we tell the customer to go ahead and submit the uh, mm. case to the service center, the unit to the service center under a call ID. Okay. okay. The second method is that the customer directly goes to the service center okay. and he submits the unit under a call ID. Okay. And we have a very generous backend team. Okay. okay. Which, uh, you know, uh, uh, from that call ID creates a case later and then uh, uh, goes forward with it. So either in the both, both of these methods, the unit can be accepted. Okay. Okay. Uh, no so worries, sir, since we have called. Uh, 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 sorry. Now, uh, how, how can I claim warranty? Should I visit the service center directly? If you visit the service center directly, no troubleshooting will be made. Okay. Okay. But if you, if, if uh, I need to create a case, troubleshooting needs to be done a few. Okay. So that is the difference. Nothing more uh, like that. So we can directly go to service center and give the processor, they'll give the RMA yes, replacement. You, yes. You can directly go to the service center and submit the unit under a call ID. Okay. They will give you a call ID. 
Okay. And there is a backend team which creates the keys under that call ID okay. later. Okay. And okay. then proceeds the hit. In that case, no troubleshooting is done. But okay. uh, in our case, uh, when we create a case, uh, we need to do uh, basic troubleshooting and all. After that, we can proceed with the warranty process. Now you tell me, sir. What do you want to do? So, if I go to direct service center, anyhow, I have to go to service center for claiming warranty, right? If I go directly, right, will right. Be, they will be able to help me, right? Right. If they don't, please call us back. We'll talk with them. Okay. Okay, sir. So, anything else, sir? That's it, right? Yeah, that's it, right? Ah, okay, sir. Thank you very much. So we've talked to Intel, what they told was uh, last time when I uh, went to service center, they told you need to do a call ID log and stuff. The policy has been changed. You can directly take your processor to Intel service center and they'll do your RMA for free. They'll give you a replacement for free, but it will take some time around like one month for the processor's arrival. So yeah, we'll be going to Intel service center and we'll be talking to them what they will tell and how the diagnosis is done. Let's have a look. So this is the email, the whatever I've received from Intel. So after I submit the processor to the service center, they've sent me this email. So this contains all the information such as uh, the serial number of the processor, the batch date and some links. And they also have some conditions in which uh, the processor should be bought in, bought and sold in India and it should not have any physical damage whatsoever. And it should be a box processor to be specific. The meaning of that is OEM, the tray processor or OEM processor will not be accepted for warranty. Found to be working, then your processor warranty claim will be invalid. And um, <clears throat> they have also provided some links. If you want to refer, you can refer. I'll add the same in the description below. Today we have received that Intel processor. Actually, I received it two months ago, but I was not able to make video. So I'll be unboxing this and let's see what's inside the stuff and uh, whether they have given the processor that's working or shall I have to send them back or something. So uh, the processor was Intel i5 11400F and uh, I've received the processor. Let's unbox it. Unboxing was simple. They have sent me the processor in a brown box and uh, in the brown box they have packed the processor using styrofoam plastic. So uh, it came from Digital India Private Limited. I have received, they have sent me a receipt that includes what they have sent. And uh, it includes my name, phone number, address, where, where it was delivered and stuff. And um, when it comes to the actual packing, as I told, it has only styrofoam packing from Digital India Private Limited. So we, when we open the processor, the processor is just like another processor from that you buy out, that you buy from retail. It's a new sealed pack. I'll be opening the pack and I'll be showing what's inside. So when you open the processor's box using the seal, by removing the seal, the processor has uh, the manual. Along with the manual, it also has the integrated cooler, which is Intel All Black cooler designed for uh, 65 watt TDP chips. And now uh, that's it. Nothing else. Regular standard processor in our hand. Uh, for testing, I was using ASUS B560 Tough Gaming, but uh, it wasn't working properly for me, so I've switched the motherboard. MSI's B560 Pro VDH Wi-Fi motherboard, which is running very stable, and I've managed to install operating system to it. Come, let's uh, test how it works. I told you earlier, I used this uh, ASUS B560 Tough Gaming Wi-Fi for testing my 11400F, but this motherboard, uh, it isn't that good, and uh, I was getting a lot of issues in this motherboard. I don't know why I was getting the issues, but uh, for now I've used uh, MSI B560 M Pro VDH Wi-Fi motherboard for testing my uh, 11400F. It's working wonderfully right now, and uh, I'll be using that for uh, showing my results. Uh, I'm using the processor to play a game, which is NFS Playback, because that game I don't have to install. So I'll check the performance of the game, like whether the game will crash or something. I'm using a GTX 1050 Ti. Mostly I'm uh, GPU bound in, bound in 1080p scenario, but still I'll check the processor because anyhow, if I set it to low settings, the processor is still peaking up to 100% uh, percent and the temperature is around 63 degrees Celsius in the clock speed of 4.17, 4.87 megahertz, which is like 4.87 megahertz, 441,000. So the menu screen is loading. Let's come. Let's play the game and let's see how it behaves or something like that.
So we have completed the RMA process from Intel successfully, and the process, uh, the processor we have received is not faulty. So the processor is working properly, and uh, whatever the motherboard we have used, that B560 ASUS motherboard, that didn't work for us well. So I have used MSI's B560 M Pro VDH Wi-Fi motherboard, that is working properly. The experience of getting the processor from Intel was almost flawless. So we contacted any of you saw the entire video, the communication, whatever we have done with Intel. The experience is good. The customer support is very good. So I have received that, and uh, that's it for today. If you have any other doubts or something like that, you can give us a call. I'll help you out in this kind of stuff. And uh, if you need any computer components like processor, motherboard, or if you want to build a new system, you can contact us at nine seven three double nine four two nine one seven. That is our phone number. Or you can directly click the link below. Yeah, you can directly locate our business, and you can come to our store, and you can buy something. And if you purchase anything from me, any processor or anything like that, you will not be have to. You will not have to worry about RMA and stuff. We'll be handling your RMA, and this is also a customer's processor. So I've given the customer hand-to-hand -hand replacement, but but I have uh, worked hard to get this processor. So Intel's RMA process is good, but still I have to wait for two weeks, right, to get the processor. So you don't have to wait. If I have the stock, if I have the stuff in stock, if you have the issue, I'll give you hand-on replacement. Please come to my place and buy stuff. And before watching any other video, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, thank you very much for watching the video. So see you once again in the next video. Bye.